my name is Julian Donchev, and um, I would be presenting in the next probably 10 minutes uh, our results on how Oracle Cloud, and especially Oracle Autonomous Cloud, compares to other major clouds. And uh, let me start first. Uh, I am the global database lead of Accenture. I'm an Oracle ACE director and an Oracle certified master, and I run a database block on the internet. I know probably most of the people on the call. You uh, probably see two screenshots here on the left side. Uh, the first one on the top is from the very first version of Oracle, Oracle 2.3. Um, there was no Oracle version one. Actually, there was, but it's a different story. Um, Oracle 4 is the black one that you see. After those versions, Oracle so intensively developed the automated features in the database that it's no surprise that a couple of years ago, we saw first ADW. And uh, we Accenture, we've been involved from day one with the autonomous database. First, we were beta testers of ADW. Uh, at the end, we were testing ATP dedicated. And I personally have been involved in every autonomous opportunity in the company and uh, probably on daily, daily basis even, even working with the autonomous database. So the first thing that we did uh, was to, to test how the autonomous database compares to to other major clouds. So we installed the Oracle um, database in, a, in another major cloud. We installed it also in Oracle OCI, and we compared the performance. Uh, we were really amazed. This was the beta release, how Oracle is able to so fast insert rows into a data warehouse. Uh, the average was approximately 500 million rows uh, in three minutes, in less than three minutes on average. And we got 1.6 time performance improvement compared to the previous findings. That means compared to how Oracle database behaves in Oracle infrastructure cloud in OCI. The last number that you see here, 14 times performance acceleration, it's a multiplication of the number eight with 1.6. We compared that the Oracle cloud for the Oracle database is eight times faster than, than other major clouds. So eight times 1.6 is approximately 14. Uh, what we did is we decided to compare provisioning and scaling up and down of the hardware. Manually, it takes approximately four hours to install the database. With database cloud service, it takes about one hour. And with ADW, about 100 seconds. For the physical hardware, for scaling up and down, it's not possible, of course. For database cloud service, it takes about half an hour because the database must be taken down while scaling is taking place. And for ADW, it takes like approximately a minute in average really surprising and really good. So we took a real Accenture application uh, and we used Oracle Analytics Cloud Service. The data was stored in ADW and we compared first the three months of data. And then we took nine years of data and decided to compare how three months of data compares to the performance of autonomous of nine years of data, three months compared to nine years. As you can see, and we were also surprised, the performance didn't change even the nine years of data database, the bigger database was slightly faster. So 1.6, 1.7 times faster. And um, we decided to compare also the Oracle database with another major cloud data warehouse. And uh, this happened like approximately a year ago. This is a white paper that we have published. Uh, it's, uh, anybody can get it from Accenture. It's a public white paper. Uh, the other database is a, is a database which is uh, specifically designed in another cloud for how to run uh, data or housing loads. Uh, we took three different uh, workloads. We took a very small database, a mid-sized data warehouse, and a very big enterprise-sized data warehouse. And we compared the results. For the small and the medium size, I would say they were equally, equally fast. Uh, probably Oracle was a bit faster, but once we went to enterprise workloads for a data warehouse, then definitely Oracle was the faster database. And here are the results. Uh, the major cloud is marked in red, probably you can guess why, while Oracle is in blue. Every major report ran at least twice faster on ADW than on the other red uh, marked cloud database. Uh, the details, if you want to find them, uh, you can contact me, you can get them from me. We also did a real client state study. Uh, here is the TCO savings if you want to migrate to autonomous data warehouse. Uh, it's a slide with a lot of information, um, but uh, the bottom line is the row at the very low of this slide. Uh, it says that for the first one year, clients usually have 88% total cost of ownership savings. And for the second to the fifth year, it's approximately half, 54%. Uh, here is how it looks like on a graph, on a, on a picture. 
So you can see on-premise, once you move it to Oracle Autonomous Cloud, you see the savings from labor, from data center, network storage, and so on. Uh, this is also a paper which is available on Accenture.com. We decided also uh, to compare Exadata and Autonomous, and this is the newest white paper we published. This is published on Accenture.com, was published probably last month. Uh, we decided to uh, compare the different models, like ATP dedicated, uh, ATP shared, ADW dedicated, ADW shared, and of course, Exadata cloud service. And uh, here is a figure that illustrates the payment models across the free databases. Uh, probably it's worth mentioning that the final result. Um, you, can, you can check while I'm presenting the table on the right side, uh, but I will explain our uh, final findings from the white paper, how ADW, ATP, dedicated shared compares uh, to Exadata Cloud Service. Uh, if you would like to have your mission critical system run on secure isolation zone, if you want a highly available platform, if you really want to use, uh, take advantages of Exadata, then dedicated, autonomous dedicated is the choice for you. Uh, if you would like uh, to quickly maintain uh, in some new ap applications, develop them, you do not require full isolations and um, you do not want to maintain any infrastructure, then ADB shared would be probably the best choice for you. And uh, the third option, Exadata Cloud Service, would probably have the best use case for database consolidation. If you want to put mission critical workloads, a lot of them, uh, and uh, especially if we're talking multiple databases, talking about hundreds of databases, if, you're, if you need a highly available system, then Exadata Cloud Service is the platform. On top of that, Exadata Cloud Service supports uh, most of the packaged applications like EBS, Cebo, People, Soft, JD, and Words. Here is another study that we made, and this is about the price comparison. So we decided to um, have the, the Oracle database on OCI, uh, the Oracle database on the leading cloud platform on their OCI. It's not called OCI, it's called EC2, uh, and uh, autonomous data warehouse. So we decided to make equally big virtual machines, install the database, have approximately the same memory, try to mimic the same databases one-to-one. -one. And uh, we noticed that um, we decided at the end that eight OCPUs, which compared to 16 uh, virtual CPUs in the leading cloud provider might be too much. Let's see if we only use two Oracle CPUs, what would happen? And uh, we decided to measure the price of a query. First, we counted how many queries per hour can be run in those four systems. Uh, and then we, of course, decided to measure the investment for such a cloud and then divide investment per price of the query and see what is the average price for one query. This is a very common denominator for, um, for business uh, KPIs. So in the leading cloud provider with the same configuration, we managed to run 65 queries. On Oracle cloud infrastructure, that's the Oracle database, more than 1,000. And have a look on ADW, more than 10,000. Even after reducing the eight CPUs to two, we still were able to run almost 2,500 queries. And uh, here is the price. We took database licensing only for enterprise edition. We took the advanced security option, important for enterprise database in the cloud. And the annual infrastructure cost for the database plus the licensing was more than 100,000 in the Oracle competitor, in the leading cloud provider. For OCI, it's around 64,000 and the larger configuration of ADW was more than 100,000 K, 101, and 46,800 for a smaller configuration and only two CPUs. And looking at the price, then one query in the Oracle Cloud was one-tenth of a cent with the normal configuration. With two CPUs, it was 0 0.002, which compared to the leading cloud provider is almost 100 times cheaper. I'm not saying twice, 10 times, about 100 times cheaper for one simple query. And on top of that, you get the real-time patching from the autonomous database. While at the leading cloud provider, we've seen that it might take days, weeks, months. And um, the final result, 